welcome back to 122 my special show on 80s ladies our next video is from janet jackson and is for the song when i think of you when i thought about this video my recollection was that it was a uh, one of the the summer outdoor street party genre videos and after watching it it's of course a lot more than that it's a really impressive production probably cost more than that fleetwood mac video did uh, and it's kind of meant to be a, a Hollywood mashup of On the Town and West Side Story st st style musicals um, rather than just street parties. And it kind of portrays this utopian summer city scene. It's also set up to look like it's all done with one shot, although it obviously isn't. You can kind of get to play the fun game of noticing where they stitch together the different shots to make it work. But it's a great video. And like I said, it seems to be like the utopian version of a city night in the summer, whereas on the other end of the spectrum would be Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing, maybe. Uh, as a more dystopian and maybe more realistic version. Definitely more realistic version. Anyway, after Janet, we will have Trio. Trio, the country music supergroup featuring Dolly Parton, who we heard earlier Emmy Lou Harris and Linda Ronstadt. This is a video for Those Memories of You, which is an interesting video, and I found it on YouTube. It's clearly someone had recorded it off CMT back in the day. This came out around 1987, I believe. And this video stars Harry Dean Stanton as a lonely old guy just moping around his house, dancing with the broom, while the disembodied heads of Dolly Parton, Emmy Lou Harris, and Lena Ronstadt hover over him, hover over him, and haunt him. So check that out. After that, we've got Pat Benatar with Invincible. Invincible, the theme song to the Legend of Billie Jean, shot in our own Corpus Christi, Texas, my hometown where I live. And uh, if you've never seen the Legend of Billie Jean, do yourself a favor and see it right away. It's sort of a rebel without a cause for the 1980s, without the longevity and quality performances, but it's interesting. And it's very much of the 1980s, and in fact, kind of prescient of the Me Too era, and sexual harassment with what Billie Jean rebels against. Ultimately, though, it's concerned with image and her ability to shape an image that the masses will latch onto and, and follow. Um, having said all that, I think that the video the Pat Benatar video we're about to watch probably had a higher budget than that entire film did, possibly. Um, it looks like it from the video. One thing I noticed is that Pat Benatar, her, her shirt, lipstick, and mascara all match. They're all the same shade. Of course, Pat Benatar, a huge figure in the pop culture of the 1980s, synonymous of it when people talk about 80s culture, Pat Benatar uh, inevitably comes up and one of my favorite references is at the beginning of uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, uh, the two characters played by Jennifer Jason Lee and Phoebe Cates are talking about counting how many different girls are dressed up like Pat Benatar um, at high school that year. So at any rate, first we're going to have Janet Jackson, then Trio, and then 